Welcome back to NC Bass, and I've let this pond, this is my main pond I fish at most of the time, I've let it rest for almost a month. And I've tried to let it breathe, but I can tell people have been fishing here like crazy, but at least I haven't been fishing here, so maybe it'll be back the way it was before I didn't fish at it at least twice a week. Tried a little flick shake, tried a little wacky rig cinco, see if we can get some on that. The drop shot was the only thing I could catch them on before. I mean, I've been struggling the last few weeks just trying to catch a, a couple of good fish, and it's been a hassle hopefully they're biting real good i'm gonna try really really hard to catch one on the 12 inch one like i've never caught a fish on this yet i caught some on those 11 inch worms but they were a lot smaller they weren't so thick this is like a giant trick worm slash it's a heavy bait it's got a weigh close to two ounces it's a real heavy heavy bait i'll be surprised if i catch a fish on that but it'd be nice if i actually did catch one even a little guy i wouldn't be surprised if i catch a little guy on this I'm actually going to start off with a, a suspended jerk bait. I'm probably out deep. See what happens. Definitely go to the top waters as clouds roll in. Got about two and a half hours of fish. Let's see if we can at least catch five fish. I'm going to try a little five bass challenge, I guess. So I can catch five actual keeper sized fish, not little dinks. I can catch dinks here, but that's about it. Lately, the big fish have moved deep or somewhere. I don't know, but let's we'll give it a try and see what happens. Swim bait gets a decent fish. Oh, he engulfed that little BBZ. Oh, it's coming out. Oh, man. Yeah. There's a little two pounder. We got one real fish. You think you wanted that bait? Look at that. Spinning around. I think you wanted it. size of this. I'm just not big on swim baits, man. This is a tough bite. But some days, they kill. These fish are smart, too. This is the clearest this water has been. That's why I went to it. Tiny little bait. It's not a huge fish, but there's a lot of bait. process of reeling this in, didn't have the video going of course, it's going to look like it's fake, but the process of reeling in this 12 inch one, I catch a 14, 13, 14 inch bat, look at that, I was reeling it in, I was hopping it out there deep, and I was reeling it, he bent it right underneath the boat, which it kind of looks like a snake going through the water, I'm not, I'm not that surprised I got one really. Look at that fish. Humongous one. Actually caught one on it. I was really about to put a pit ball on it. I'm going to try to catch some fish on it now. That's a... Probably a 13 and a half inch fish. The 12 inch one. 
first time I've ever caught one on one of these. I've had this pack for like three years. I haven't thrown much, but there we go. You can actually catch a fish on it. I pulled the rock here on one up. Got him. He's not big. Holy crap. Hey, I'm learning something today. You guys should be too, because I've been throwing a drop shot around. I think I just found a little deep hole and had three bites in the same spot. But look at this. This fish is 13 inches. Maybe a little bigger, probably not much. I mean, clearly they're hungry. He's skinny as can be. And the giant worm is catching. And the tiny drop shot's not. Which I was using the drop shot back here, not up here, but that is crazy. I mean, they're blasting this thing, too. I am learning something today. Throw big baits. Set the hook too hard. He's not bad for a drop shot fish at all. Not bad at all for a drop shot fish. It's eight fish total. Look, double hook to set. Smaller hook just seems I like get a way better hook up percentage with these tiny little wire hooks. That's ever a pound? I'm taking it. 